Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Jets, helicopters, and bombers could be seen taking off along the flight line at Anderson Air Force Base this week. Roughly 104 aircraft are participating in Cope North, including F-2s, F-16s, F-18s, and the B-1 bomber you see behind me, which is participating for the first time. Aircraft are conducting everything from air-to-air -air combat to humanitarian assistance exercises. Allied nations, including the U.S., Japan, and Australia, hope the exercise will boost response time to regional crises. Japan Air Self-Defense Force Colonel Hirohisa Takakusaki and Royal Australian Air Force Colonel Tim Malsub. As you can see on huge earthquake on uh, East Japan in 2011, uh, we face a lot of natural disaster in this Asia-Pacific region. So, working with three countries in, in HADR will reinforce our mutual response capability, which results in saving our lives as many as possible. When we look at uh, events such as the earthquake in Japan, where Australia then provided a, uh, a, a, a rapid response to, to assist uh, a great friend, it's very important that we've already, already gone through the process of of learning each other's procedures and, and uh, understanding our personalities. As of this exercise, he said interoperability has reached new heights. As of this, this trip, we can have a patient uh, being tended on a uh, Japanese C-130 um, by an Australian medic and an American doctor, uh, for example. The bulk of aeromedical training took place in Tinian, while air combat training is happening in the airspace surrounding Guam. Our pilots are able to fly uh, air to air combat uh, training uh, with fewer restrictions and uh, under the more realistic EW conditions. U.S. Colonel Juris Jansen said everything ranging from engineering to survival skills are being shared in a unique opportunity that has become the largest joint exercise in the Pacific. We all speak different languages, even the Americans speak different languages, <laughs> and the airlifters and the fighters speak different languages, and so having an opportunity to work on our translation skills is, is important. By constantly learning, we're ready. We're ready to fight tonight. We're ready to take care of anything that we need to as a collective team. The exercise ends on March 3rd. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Isa Paza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.